Okay, so we've got another question from a Prager 4 student here. She says, I think many of my woke friends and family started down the path with good intentions, just wanting to be against racism and for equality. But it seems like all of a sudden they're talking about dismantling capitalism, they're justifying violence um, as long as it's on their side, and ignoring any facts that contradict their narrative. Why does this seem to brainwash people so quickly, and is it even possible to wake up someone who's woke? <sighs> That's a hard Another simple one for you. No, that one's for really us. hard, in fact. <laughs> that one's really hard. I honestly, so woke is like a, you, I hate to say it this way given the circumstances, but woke is like a spectrum. Um, but you could think of it like with, with, with a religion, like with Christianity, you've got like probably the pastors really into it, the theologians are really, really into it. And then you have kind of people who go to church and they really, they try to be serious and they're varying degrees of serious. Then you have that, you know, yeah, I'm a Christian, but they probably haven't been to church in like three months. You have the same things happening in woke. So yeah. when you say, can you wake up a woke person? The question is, how far in are they? Are they like, all out, if they're already defending violence, you're probably going to have a hard time. Mm -hmm. If they're talking about dismantling capitalism and they're serious about it, you're probably going to have a hard time. If, however, they're kind of, you know, well, I put the black square on my Instagram or whatever, you can probably walk them back still. You can probably mm -hmm. show them, you know, this is actually a lot scarier or this is a lot um, grosser. Neo-racist is a word that we've been using. It's not racist in the usual sense. It's this neo-racist and new racism that it's being reinstalled. And that's kind of gross, really. And you can kind of get that little bit of a gag reflex. You can get them to laugh a little bit and say, yeah, that is kind of silly, you know. Mm -hmm. If you can show them places where the theory is self-contradictory or where, where the activities look like they're self-serving or whatever. So you can, if they're not too far in, wake them up. But if they've gone all the way in, this thing's like a cult. And you mm -hmm. can't just wake a cult member up. And that's why it brainwashes people so quickly and effectively is because it preys upon people's, A, desire to be a good person, and B, vulnerabilities that they might not be. Mm -hmm. And it's tapped so effectively into their social strata, right? Mm -hmm. So somebody else was just asking, you know, well, I'll, get, well, I'll get canceled by all my friends. Well, it's so much easier to just start mouthing it and going along with it. And right. then that social pressure just makes it so much stronger. So it's difficult, but try to try to tell the truth, try to be uh, sensitive and try to be open because eventually the bubble will burst. And there, the, the thing that's most important here is that when somebody comes out of the cult, whether it's woke or whether it's any other cult, you have to be willing and ready to welcome them and affirm them and say, you know what, it's not a big deal, let it go. We're all cool now. Mm -hmm. You know, you've got to you got to be there. Give them an exit ramp, and then kind of love bomb them. To be honest yeah. with you, like don't take this combative posture, or you know, beat them down. I mean, they, yeah, like don't be like, look what you did. Can you see how terrible you were? You know, you were mm -hmm. crazy. But that's not going to help. Invite them in. You know, glad you're here. Yeah, exactly. Glad well, you're here. Welcome to the club of reality. Yeah. We're back in. Welcome back.